Hi, this is Josh Marshall from TPM Media. It's Thursday, February 21st, 2008, and today is episode 13 of our weekly campaign 2008 roundup. The best news coming out of last night for Hillary Clinton is that there are now two whole weeks where no state anywhere in the country is going to hold a primary or a caucus. Up next on March 4th is Texas, Ohio, and what you might call a New England mini-state uh, primary in Vermont and Rhode Island. So let's look at where we are. On Tuesday night, Obama won his ninth and 10th contest in February. Estimates now put him either somewhere between 135 and 150 delegates ahead of Hillary Clinton, not including superdelegates. Now, since Super Tuesday, Hillary's plan has been to use Texas and Ohio as her firewalls, states where she can win and win big and offset the advantage that Barack Obama has put together with a really solid February. The problem is, is that Texas now at least is looking like a neck and neck race, and Ohio, where Clinton is still ahead, that is at least closing. Now, none of those numbers look good for Hillary, but what you really need to do is step back and look at the underlying fundamentals, all of which seem to be going against Hillary Clinton. The argument for Clinton's campaign and the premise behind the idea that she would win big in Ohio and Texas has been bedrock support among three groups. And those groups are women, Hispanic voters, and lower middle class Democrats. The problem is, if you look at exit polls over the month of February, each of those groups is in motion and they're all trending towards Barack Obama. Now, one of those groups, Hispanics, we really haven't had a state so far in February that has a large Hispanic population. But among women and lower middle class and working class Democrats, we've had a lot of evidence, and again, trending away from Hillary Clinton towards Barack Obama. Hillary Clinton and Barack Obama actually tied among women yesterday in Wisconsin, and Obama won among Democrats making less than $50,000 a year. So the problem for Hillary Clinton isn't just that she's behind Barack Obama in delegates and whether or not she has time to make up the difference. It's these underlying demographic trends in the electorate. With all the back and forth between the two campaigns that we've seen in February, those numbers just keep moving in the same direction. So the issue isn't really whether or not Hillary Clinton has time to catch up with Barack Obama. It's whether or not she can even turn the tide. Okay, we're going to take a quick break. When we come back, we'll tell you about the general election that's starting up and whether it's starting up a little sooner than the Democrats would like. At the tone, leave a message. We'll get back. I think it's hard to say about primaries, but a lot of these smaller caucus-based states your vote can count a lot. In larger primary states, like, say, Texas, your primary vote doesn't make a huge impact, but getting out to vote really says something about you and how well you're willing to do. Okay, we're back. As you know, Mike Huckabee is still in the Republican race, but John McCain pretty much has that race sewn up. So every public appearance he makes now, after every primary or caucus win, he comes forward and he launches a direct attack on Barack Obama, the man he thinks will be his general election opponent. This could turn out to be a major problem for the Democrats because, well, John McCain is basically already fighting the general election, already trying to define himself to a general election electorate and also to define his probable opponent, Barack Obama. Obama and Clinton are still going after each other. So McCain pretty much has the stage all to himself. It looks like there's at least a decent chance now that the Democratic race will be all but over after March 4th, but even if the writing's on the wall, neither candidate is going to concede right after March 4th. So the Democrats are looking at at least a month and possibly two or even more months where John McCain is already out there fighting the general election battle while they're still stuck in their primary. So keep a close eye on whether the Democrats are going to be able to find out a way to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with John McCain, start hitting back at him while he's hitting them before they have all their primary business worked out. I'm Josh Marshall from TPM Media, and we'll talk to you tomorrow.